Hi guys, welcome to World of Worship and welcome to my channel. Today we have a pleasure to watch uh, Luncro. Uh, this, this captain is uh, sailing the new tier 7 Japanese destroyer and the destroyer name is uh, Shiratsu. Shira Sh uh, I apologize if I pronounce it wrong. Uh, but there is, is the, the, what I call a gunboat line, the new tier 7. Please let me know what you personally think about this one. It's this uh, tier 7, you have opportunity to have the um, reload boost. So once you um, send your uh, 8 torps, if you press uh, uh, the 4 key, you boost your reload by you know, in three seconds you have m one more reload, and this you have opportunity to have more or less within four seconds uh, 16 torpedoes in the water. They are the range are 10 kilometers, and the speed of the torps are 62 knots. Not something impressive, but there's one more thing I would like to mention about these destroyers. Why I do know about this destroyer so much? Well, because I have 15 points captain myself. I'm grinding to uh, Akizuki, the tier 8 uh, Japanese destroyer. And she has 5 guns. Um, reload or not that bad. So in this um, destroyer you can absolutely open fire. But there's one thing this destroyer makes pretty awesome it's uh, the detection folks once you have uh, 15 points captain this ship will be detected only at 5.8 kilometers which basically there's probably only one single destroyer who can uh, spot you earlier only one if, if I can figure out please let me know if I'm uh, said this wrong information and there is the Kagero at tier 8 otherwise uh, yeah and of course the Minikaze and Kamikaze with 15 points captain will also have awesome detection but 5.8 folks it's very very good And uh, believe me, in Destroyer's life, uh, you know, the spotting range and uh, how easy for you to be spotted is everything. Because what that basically means, uh, Shiratsuyu, Shiratsuyu, Shiratsuyu can come close to an uh, enemy battleship, very close, I mean, 6 kilometers, that's very close. And, uh, well... 8, uh, eight uh, torpedoes in the water it's not bad but if you want to strike and strike and delete the poor uh, uh, battleship captain you can do it with two more salvo and he's definitely a gunner or otherwise you can put a, a wide spread 10 kilometers is not bad folks so you can put a put a wide spread torpedo wall and they might hit you know what I'm mean, trying to say but folks now this uh, Okay, this is, was kind of close to this gunning. Uh, this uh, game, it's a uh, eating bullet <laughs> game. <laughs> yeah, it will be one of those because uh, I do like uh, you know some really challenging game not something that it's obvious that everyone is gonna win I mean of course you have the opportunity to play uh, one of those games that we have this in the bag and it was kind of easy sometimes um, I wondering how could our team play so bad but sometimes folks is the other way around how could the enemy team play so bad sometimes it's like those ridiculous easy win and ridiculous hard uh, lost uh, <laughs> okay one torpedo hit fox for almost 12,000 damage and we send one more torpedo boost we yeah we use the torpedo boost I think yeah we did okay we receive a huge uh, hit from Yoko Miyoko it's a very very dangerous uh, cruiser versus destroyers same thing with um, all Japanese uh, 
cruiser to, which have 203 millimeters and there's RP Takao and Atago okay we deleted the cunning and we deleted the, the oh boy the enemy Shiratsuyu so we killed two ships in a matter of two seconds wow yeah <laughs> double strike that was a very very good uh, torpedo wall Hmm. But uh, it's always hard to play as a destroyer if there are um, enemy um, planes. I'm talking about carrier in the game. It's always not the obvious sneakiest, so you can just go. Uh, sometimes I get frustrated uh, because uh, some really good uh, aircraft carrier captain will. Um, leave the planes closed so you'll be spotted all time so the friendly team can harm you and uh, it's not fun when you play okay graph speed remember that this the um, um, cruiser has very powerful uh, hydro we are detected which means that this captain it's not 15 points captain 6.5 no he doesn't have the concealment expert we are spotted <coughs> apologize about this folks okay one reset which is good And this Graf Spi captain, uh, hmm, he might actually dodge the whole thing. Oh man, there's a uh, Minekaze at 4.8. Mm, but he still <laughs> received one single torpedo hit with f which caused flooding. And he's, uh, well, uh, he doesn't have the damage uh, repair party because he's still flooding, which is good. Over here from now on folks I would like to tell you something about uh, this uh, gameplay it is kind of a uh, ridiculous okay he's going for T22 that was very interesting because basically if you see the score we have this in the bag right but the friendly teams they I don't know from now on what they are doing for because for me it's actually a mystery please take very close about the uh, uh, counter I'm talking we have 567 versus 281 we have two capping points okay we cannot use those torque because we have a huge opportunity to nuke our friendly New Mexico and nice now secondary open up Okay, nice now send the torps and nook the uh, and friendly uh, battleship, but there he goes. He was too little HP. This is uh, what I'm talking about. This uh, uh, Japanese stress. This is the first one. I mean, Hatsuharu was terrible. It was it had only two turrets and not much firepower. You cannot gunfight almost anything. But this one, I'm not saying yeah, you go uh, and fight uh, Bliskavich or Kiev because that would be your doom, or uh, not even the uh, the German destroyer uh, uh, mass uh, the tier seven one. But you can still use your gun in your smoke and some low HP targets. And um, yeah, for me, it's absolutely a mysterious uh, what's really happened from now. If I would be this captain, I would definitely go for A and secure A as well. Uh, very strange that the enemy did not push. Well, they are a little bit at C, nobody is at A and nobody at B so you guys probably be thinking Zero what are you talking about this is an easy win wrong unfortunately you have so wrong you don't believe it how wrong you have it sounds kind of ridiculous that this is not an easy win 
unfortunately and for your <laughs> pleasure I just want to you know have a different content so far three kills and we already lost the friendly Alba torpedo yeah this graph speed he is uh, coming towards a if I'm not mistaken you see what I'm talking about we pop, pop the uh, boost and we still have one more salvo uh, torpedo salvo Yeah, this captain doesn't have a, f a 15 points cap and does not have the concealment and unfortunately Graph's P is within a concealment range. I'm talking about less than 6.5 Will he, will it hit? Oh Yeah, we deleted this dude man Because here's the deal folks those uh, torpedo even though they are not that ridiculous fast on 62 uh, knots are not very fast but not slow slow each 55 or or less than 60 but 62 it's mm, in the middle of some. i think it's absolutely workable but they hit hard when you receive um, a torpedo hit from a japanese destroyer you will feel it because it's more or less 20,000 damage uh, so that's the biggest difference. They uh, they uh, hit they hit hard. But uh, even though uh, now you you've been seeing 670 versus 316, and no one is capping our enemy team. No capping A, B, C. This is a easy win, right? GG <laughs> Yamato 9442. He said. Type down GG. <laughs> Apologize, folks, why I'm laughing, but there is a reason why. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of for me a mystery how in the whole world world uh, happens. What is it gonna happen? <clears throat> so basically, folks, the the friendly team has four ships. Wow, man, Ooh, that was a dodge, man, that, it could not be closer, that was a very, very close call. <sighs> How this carrier strike, okay, that was a bad strike, but the first strike was actually impressive, I was, yeah, it's, it's not easy to hit a uh, destroyer. And not especially when you have um, uh, the Japanese aircraft carrier. I'm uh, talking about the bombers or the splash or smaller areas. So if you would play, let's say, uh, US carrier, it will actually be much easier to hit a destroyer and kill him with um, uh, bomb, uh, bombs divers. Mm, now this time it's actually hit and knock up the uh, engine and proportion and we have to use the damage control uh, apologize about this folks it's still uh, only three versus six oh do apologize two versus six because the Enemy Nuremberg uh, finished our aircraft carrier, and we know for damn sure the aircraft carrier it's near uh, here near about uh, around. Very strange, even though the enemy uh, have um, you know six versus two, they only right now went for capping C. Unfortunately, all those aircraft carriers went for the poor Colorado. So Colorado instead, of, uh, yeah, he will get wrecked by the torpedoes bombers. 
unfortunately folks and I have something very very sad to say that oh man strike one more he he turned in the last seconds oh man this Colorado has only 1059 HP left and there's more torpedo bombs yeah that's the power of the Japanese carrier they have a lot of squads in the air at the same time now you know what what these torpedo squads are for or for Colorado we had not uh, okay and this is for us all right was not some oh man th those torpedoes are slow unfortunately look at the torpedo bomb they are going for Colorado Colorado and I don't think the Colorado will um, survive that and this uh, captain well he's uh, so far from uh, friendly um, team that I don't know that this yeah will survive but the, unfortunately this uh, aircraft carrier uh, killed the Colorado and we are alone versus six yeah folks alone one versus six but the problem what the enemy uh, team did I did not, not uh, mention that it, they took too much time to cap B and C okay we did one citadel as long we can dodge the torpedo squads there's a small chance that we are actually gonna finish this uh, aircraft carrier before we are going down and we received a high caliber Let's press the speed boost <clears throat> kinda intense folks because one mistake man I did not know that those are so slow maybe this um, aircraft carrier doesn't have the torpedo you should have this uh, there's a perk that your increase uh, the torpedo speed by uh, 5 knots I don't think that this uh, aircraft carrier has it and the bombs are coming folks okay do do they hit us but here's the deal folks we took this dude uh, down and received the Kraken and arsonist and just yeah they do have B and C and there's one versus five but it's only 50 seconds 49 seconds which does mean we are so close to this border even though they all try to cap A, B, there's too little too late for the enemy team. This is the last strike the uh, carrier did auto drop, you know, and it was easy to dodge. And we have a winner, one versus five. So enemy teams, if you see this gameplay, you capped way too late. Yeah. <laughs> If our frustration <laughs> you all were in um, C and B and now it's only five more seconds and thanks guys for watching this is a uh, kind of uh, interesting game playing one versus five and the win and huge thanks to this captain who yeah actually even though yeah thanks guys for watching it's zero zero GG